So what I'm doing is moving a post. I'll pull the paver out. And I'm just going to drive a stake down in there and use the long hoop over there to form a proper arch here. So that'll get this post here out of the way. But why, excuse the mess, um, what I thought I'd um, do is just show you how I remove star pickets. I've already done it, um, so I'm going backwards and just actually hammered it back in the ground just to show you. It's because uh, I've actually seen um, it come up on FreeCycle, people looking for star picket uh, or star post removers. And I actually emailed a couple of people that you can do it yourself quite easily and cheaply. Um, all I've got here is a length of chain, um, a bolt, and the bolt goes through the hole, through the chain, onto a nut, or a nut goes onto the end, and basically you just lever it. Use this, push through a bit further because I've already half done it, and you lift the pole, and out comes the star picket. So it's as easy as that. Um, I have seen uh, quite technical ones available in shops for anywhere up to about 60 bucks. Um, the produce shop many years ago, um, but hey, you might damage a bolt, you might destroy a bolt, but I use the same bolt over and over for doing this. Um, and I would advise to use pipes, not other star pickets, because the cheaper star pickets you get these days, they just bend trying to remove them. I know, I've actually bent one rather badly trying to remove another one. Well, the hoop is up. Um, I ended up cutting a nice little knock or groove or section out of that paver there with the trusty angle grinder and so that hoop is up and away ready to form the cover for the aquaponic area um, the little bit of pipe that I took down from there two bits have already been cut up to form the filling pipes for the renovated barrels um, these guys here, these filling tubes, the old ones, are actually going to be chopped in half so I can use them in other beds. So, but time has gotten away from me, so I won't be finishing it all today. Have a good one.